Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. So I was recently asked if I could carve a trophy for a chili cook-off contest. And well, this is the video to that carving. Hope you guys will stick around, see you to the end. Thanks. Like I said, I'm going to be carving a first place trophy for a local chili cook-off. I'm going to be carving it out of a piece of butternut. I just got some fresh butternut the other day and I have a few small chunks here so I'm going to carve, carve out of them. And uh, I think it would be a really cool trophy out of a piece of butternut. No paint, probably just you know carve it, sand it, and some finish. Basically, I'm going to be using the saw to rough it out. And then we'll be going through with the grinders to really just clean it up. I want a nice smooth finish on this, so I don't want that rough look. Now, I've got this in my jaw horse already, as you can see. Um, I'm going to be using my MS250, my 193, and my MS170 with a dime tip bar today. If you guys, uh, if you guys are interested in what tools I'm using in this project, I will have links below the video in the description. Those will be Amazon links. Be sure to follow them, make purchases through them. The purchases you make help this channel grow. I really appreciate that. So, enough talking, time to fire up some chainsaws. Well, making my first few cuts with my Steel MS250. Uh, the butternut is kind of hard to be cutting through, but the uh, 250 does a pretty good job. Now, as I always say, I'll leave links in the description below the video so you guys can see tools used. Be sure to check those out. Figured I'd take a quick break so you guys can see what I got going on here. We got the number one. I got to get this piece out. And a chili. Well, not quite a chili yet, but that's the plan. It's going to be a chili pepper on top and a number one on the bottom. So, stay with me. We're uh, making something. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Let's keep going. So I wanted to challenge myself by doing as much work as I could with the 250. Um, with this being a smaller carving, normally I would jump to like the 193 right away. And my dime tip bar on my MS-170, those would probably be like the two main saws for something small. I really wanted to, like I said, challenge myself using the uh, MS250. You know, it's a bigger, little bit bigger saw, bigger bar, so it does make things a little more challenging on these smaller carvings. But I think it's worth it. Helps hone in your skills and uh, keeps you sharp. So I'm just going to put this out there. I know um, there's been a lot of requests for more step-by-step -step and how-to carving videos uh, just kind of getting caught up on my custom orders I've said it before in videos I'll just say it again I try to do a video for all my customers when they put a custom order whether it's a carving or some furniture or interior design kind of stuff I like to give the customers a video to go along with that piece so they can see it start to finish I will be working on how-to videos for everybody as well. Hopefully I can put one of those up a week plus a, uh, a video like this, you know, a, a custom piece kind of video as well. So that would be nice to do, you know, two videos once in a while in the same week. I also want to mention that my channel now has a community section. So you guys can go there and I'll put pictures of projects I'm working on or what I'm editing for the week so you guys can get an idea of what's to come uh, also I'm gonna be making a post on there for uh, I don't know enticing you guys to let me know what you want for step-by-step uh, -step videos and you can comment below what you're looking for and maybe we'll make that like a, a running list you know for your how-to kind of questions and videos I can start working on uh, putting together for you guys Right, so you guys can see this thing taking shape. We got our chili on top, our number one on the bottom. I mean, really, just about done here with the chainsaw work. I only got a little bit left I want to do. 
I want to make a stem on the top of the chili. So I got to carve down on that top piece and make a little bit of a stem there. Um, a little bit better close up shot here for you guys. I mean, it's still pretty rough, you know, it's chainsaw work. I'm going to probably use my one, 193 and start to refine it around the chili and uh, kind of just trim up this number one, make it look a little bit cleaner. And then it'll be time to hit this thing with the grinder. Really clean it up. Well, as you guys can see, I've been using a clamp or a vise here to hold this carving. This is called the jaw horse. If you've seen any of my other videos, you've seen it there as well, holding the small pieces. This clamps down really tight so nothing moves and then it locks in place. It's really great. It's really handy to have when you're doing small carving like this. It keeps everything from just moving all over and jumping all over the place on you. Uh, if you guys are interested in one of these, be sure to check out the description below. I'll have an Amazon link where you can purchase one through. That purchase and any purchases through those Amazon links will help support this channel. I do get a little bit of a kickback. Not much. I mean, we're talking pennies. Pennies. But every little bit helps, you know, help this channel grow and get some new content and videos out for you guys. Thanks again. Well, as you all can see, the chainsaw work is done. This is actually a pretty quick project. I mean, I didn't sketch this out ahead of time. I didn't really study any pictures. I sort of put this together in my head. I did kind of look up chilies and jalapenos and things like that to kind of get the idea for the pepper there, but. So that's pretty good. I mean, this could be done if it was just gonna be all chainsaw work, but. I really want to clean this up and have a nice smooth piece. So I'm going to break out my angle grinders and my saber tooth bits and what else? Uh, my flat disc sander and go through and really just sand this thing off and smooth it all down and also grind all the bark away. I don't want any bark on this. I want to have it just a, a nice, nice clean piece. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the power tools. I hope you guys will stick around and see this to the end. Thanks for watching so far. Well, I grabbed my angle grinder and one of my saber tooth uh, round discs to start removing that bark. And as I was doing so, I realized I had enough meat on the bottom of that to turn it into a bowl. Uh, I mean, this is a carving for a chili cook-off, so I thought it'd be really cool to turn that base into a bowl. And as you can see here, I've got another bit. I've got a round ball bit in my die grinder, and I'm kind of carving down in to give it that concaved bowl look um, all these bits and grinders i'm using again they'll be in the description amazon links you guys can go there check them out well the chainsaw work and all the sanding is done as you see you got a little chili sitting on a number one here in a bowl chili cook-off right awesome trophy 
Looks really cool, I think. Uh, still got to get some finish on it, though, to finish it up. So, stick around. Well, check it out. The first place trophy is done. As you guys can see, I decided to paint the chili red. I left the one in the bowl all natural colors there. And the spoon. This really was a uh, this was a fun project. Again, this is for a local chili cook-off. If uh, if you've got an event coming up and you want a custom trophy made, just get in contact with me. I've got links below. You can get a hold of me through Instagram or Facebook or email, and uh, we can always go from there. You know, see about making you something custom for uh, your next event. I really hope you guys like this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe to my channel. When you hit subscribe, make sure you hit the little bell that pops up so you can be alerted when new videos are uploaded. I thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.